Hi friends, my name is Maruti and I am the co-founder of Kraku. In this video, I will be discussing all the important formulas that are uh, needed to solve questions which have uh, tanks and pipes. So basically, there are two types of pipes. There are inlet pipes which uh, fill water into a tank and there are outlet pipes which remove water from a tank. But the amount of water that is filled and the amount of water that is removed is in most cases not the same. So for example, if you are told that a pipe fills, uh, an inlet pipe fills a tank in X hours and an outlet pipe uh, empties a tank in Y hours, the fraction of the tank that is filled by the inlet pipe in 1 hour is 1 by x and the fraction of the tank that is emptied by the outlet uh, tank in 1 hour is 1 by y. So, if both of them are working in tandem because one uh, is filling and the other is emptying, at the end of 1 hour, the fraction of the tank that is filled is 1 by x minus 1 by y. This is if the inlet pipe is more powerful than the outlet pipe, that is if it is filling more water than it is being emptied and the other way around, if the outlet pipe is emptying more water than the inlet pipe. The easiest way to solve these kind of questions is by assuming that the volume of the tank is a multiple of both x and y. That is just to get an understanding. Let us assume that there is an inlet pipe which is filling the tank in 4 hours. And let us assume that there is an outlet pipe which is emptying the tank in say 5 hours. Now we can uh, assume that because it is filling in 4 hours and emptying it in 5 hours, the fraction of the tank that is filled in 1 hour by the inlet pipe is 1 by 4. The fraction of the tank that is uh, emptied by the outlet pipe in 1 hour is 1 by 5. So, if both of them are working in tandem, the amount of uh, the fraction of the tank that is filled in 1 hour is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5, which is equal to by 20, 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1 by 20. And therefore, it is going to take 20 hours to fill the tank. This is one way of solving it. Another way and an easier way to solve it is assuming that the volume of the tank is the least common multiple of 4 and 5. Basically, we want it to be any multiple. If it is the least multiple, that is the fastest way of solving it. What is the LCM of 4 and 5? The least common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. So, let us assume that the volume of the tank is 20 liters. An inlet pipe takes 4 hours to fill 20 liters. So, in 1 hour, it is going to fill 5 liters. Similarly, an outlet uh, pipe takes 5 hours to empty 20 liters. So, in 1 hour, it is going to empty 4 liters. So, if both of them are working in tandem, in 1 hour, the amount of water that is filled is 1 liter. And what is the volume of the tank? It is 20 liters. So, what is the time taken? That will be 20 hours. This is a more intuitive way of solving the same question, which involves no fractions and an easier way to calculate. To understand this better, let us solve some questions. In this question, we are told that an inlet pipe can fill a tank in 8 hours. An outlet pipe can empty the same tank in 12 hours. Initially, the tank is completely empty. At this point, the inlet pipe is connected to the tank. After 3 hours, the outlet pipe is also connected to the tank. After how much time from the beginning will the tank be full? So, just to make calculations easy, let us assume that the least common multiple of 8 and 12 is the volume of the tank. What is the least common multiple of 8 and 12? That is 24. So, let us assume that the volume of the tank is 24 liters. An inlet pipe takes 8 hours to fill this tank. So, in 1 hour, it is going to fill 24 divided by 8. So, that is 3 liters. And an outlet pipe takes 12 hours to empty 24 liters. So, in 1 hour, it is going to empty 2 liters. Initially, for the first 3 hours, only the inlet pipe is uh, open. So, in 3 hours, it is going to fill 3 into 3, which is equal to 9 liters. Afterwards, both of them are open. And if both of them are open, what is the effective amount of water that is filled into the tank in 1 hour? That will be 3 minus 2, that is 1 liter. The total volume that needs to be filled is 24 liters, out of which 9 liters are already filled in 3 hours by that inlet pipe. So, what is the amount of water that is remaining to be filled? It is 15 liters, which is 24 minus 9. And every hour, 1 liter is being filled. So, the total time it takes for this tank to be filled is 15 hours when both of them are open and 3 hours initially when only the inlet pipe is open. So, the total time it takes is 15 plus 3, which is equal to 18 hours. So, the answer for this question is option B, which is 18 hours. Let us solve another question. In this question, a water tank has two inlet pipes and it has one outlet pipe. The inlet pipes take 5 hours 
and 10 hours to fill the tank. The outlet pipe takes 4 hours to empty the tank. All the pipes are opened for 15 hours. Later, the outlet pipe is closed and the smaller inlet pipe is closed. How much more time is required to fill the tank completely? Let us assume that the volume of the tank is a multiple of 5, 10 and 4 because then the calculations become easy. What is the least common multiple of 5, 10 and 4? That is 20. So, let us assume that the volume of the tank is 20 liters. So, in 1 hour, the inlet pipe 1 will fill 20 divided by 5 which is 4 liters. The inlet pipe 2 will fill 20 divided by 10 which is 2 liters. And the outlet pipe will empty 20 divided by 4 which is 5 liters. So, if all of them are open, in 1 hour, the amount of water that is filled is 4 plus 2 minus 5 which is equal to 1 liter. And all three are open for the first 15 hours. So, the total volume that is filled is 15 liters. So, the amount of water that needs to be filled is 5 liters. Now, the outlet pipe is closed and the smaller inlet pipe is closed. Only the larger inlet pipe is open which is filling 4 liters every hour. The amount of water that is yet to be filled is 5 liters. Therefore, the time it takes is 1 hour 15 minutes which is 1 and a quarter hour is what it takes which is 5 by 4 hours which is basically 1 hour and 15 minutes. So, the answer for this question is option C. Let us look at one more question. An inlet pipe at the top of a tank can fill it in 8 hours usually. So, normally there is a tank like this. There is an inlet pipe here which can fill the water in 8 hours. But due to a leak, it takes the pipe 9 hours to fill the tank. How much time in hours will it take the leak to empty the tank if the tank is half full initially and the inlet pipe is closed? We have 8 hours and we have 9 hours over here. So, let us assume that the volume of the tank is the least common multiple of 8 and 9. We can assume the volume of the tank to be any number. If it is a multiple of 8 and 9, the calculations become easy. So, let us assume that the volume of the tank is 72 liters. If there is no leak, if there is only an inlet pipe that is working, the amount of water that is filled in 1 hour will be 72 divided by 8, which is equal to 9 liters. Because in 8 hours, the inlet pipe is filling 72 liters of water. So, in 1 hour it will be filling 9 liters of water. But now there is a leak. So, the inlet pipe is working and then there is a leak because of which it is taking 9 hours to fill 72 liters. So, in 1 hour they are filling only 8 liters or essentially the leak is emptying 1 liter every hour. Now, the tank is half full. So, the tank has 36 liters of water. The volume of the tank is 72 liters, half of it is 36 and the leak is emptying 1 liter every hour. So, the time it takes to empty 36 liters is 36 hours. So, the answer for this question is option D. Let us look at one more question. In this question, we are told that there is a tank which is cylindrical in shape and there are two identical outlet pipes. One is located at 3 by 10th of its height and the other one is located at the bottom of the tank. We are told that the time it takes to empty a full tank and a tank which is 8 tenths full is 10 hours, the difference in the time. Now, 4 inlet pipes, each with double the capacity of the outlet pipes have been installed and what is the time it takes to fill the tank? The two outlet pipes are also working. So, this seems like a lot of information. Let us first try to understand this. This is say the tank. There is one outlet pipe at the bottom. There is one outlet pipe at a height of 3 by tenths the full height. Now, the time difference between emptying a full tank and a tank which is 8 by 10 full, we are told is 10 hours. So, that is basically the difference it takes to empty this part of the tank which is at the top 2 by 10. So, top 2 by 10 gets emptied in 10 hours, full tank gets emptied in 50 hours. That is if both these outlet pipes are working till the end. Of course, one of the outlet pipes will not work after the water goes below 3 by 10 of its side. But for this uh, part, it is not needed because when the water is above 8 tenths of its side, both the 
outlet pipes are working fine. So if both the outlet pipes are working fine, 2 by 10s of the tank is emptied in 10 hours or the full tank is emptied in 50 hours when both the pipes are outlet pipes are working. So one outlet pipe takes 100 hours to empty this tank. So let us assume that the volume of the tank is 100 liters. So each outlet pipe will empty 1 liter per hour. Now we are told that there is an inlet pipe. This has twice the capacity of the outlet pipe. So this will be filling 2 liters every hour. And 4 such inlet pipes are used. So now we have this tank. You have 4 inlet pipes which are used. There is one outlet pipe at the bottom. There is one outlet pipe at a height of 3 by 10. Now what is the time it takes to fill this entire tank? We assume that the volume of the tank is 100 liters. So below the second outlet pipe is 30 liters. Above the second outlet pipe is 70 liters. These four inlet pipes each will be filling 2 liters per hour. So for the first 30 liters, these four inlet pipes are working and one outlet pipe is working. So the total amount of water that is filled in 1 hour will be 4 into 2 minus 1 which is 7 liters. So this will be filled, this 30 liters will be filled in 30 by 7 hours. And for the above 70 liters, the four inlet pipes will be working and both the outlet pipes are working. So every hour the amount of water that is filled into the tank is 4 into 2 minus 2 which is 6 liters. So the time it takes is 70 divided by 6. So the total time it takes is 30 by 7 plus 70 by 6 which is 30 by 7 plus 35 by 3. 30 by 7 is 4.28. 35 by 3 is 11.66. So the total time it takes is approximately 15.94 which is very close to 16 hours. So the answer for this question is option B which is 16 hours.